proof of the controllability criterion in discrete time. We have a discrete time system xk plus 1 equal a of xk plus bk u b uk and uh, uh, we know that it is controllable if and only if the rank, the rank of uh, the controllability matrix is equal to n and I have to prove this theorem. So for this to start I have to show the relation which relates the initial condition x0 to xn and this makes appear the controllability matrix. So I have a, a system xk plus 1 equal a xk plus b uk. So from this I have an initial condition x0 which is known. And the controllability is a condition to say that from all initial condition x0 if my system is controllable then I can find a control input such that I move from k to k to x of uh, n or which is the state I want to reach okay so maybe I will not stay here maybe I will have to move forward maybe it takes some time but if there exists a k such that from x0 there exists a control such that I reach xn then the system is controllable so for the first question I have to compute x of 1 and I know that it is equal to x of 0 plus b u of 0 from this relation now x of 2 I know that it is equal to a plus uh, x of 1 plus b u of 1 now this one I know that this one is given here so as a consequence I get here that it is equal to a square x of 0 plus a b u of 0 plus b u1 this one corresponds to this one okay now let us continue x of 3 I know from this relation that x of 3 is equal to a x of 2 plus b u of 2 now this one is given by this as a consequence I obtain that x of 3 is equal to a cube x of 0 plus a square b u of 0 plus a b u of 1 plus b u of 2 this one come from this one of course and if I continue like this we can understand that I get that x of n is equal to a n x of 0 plus a big matrix so in the case where n equal to 2 I understand that this matrix will be composed by this one but in the general case for n I will obtain b so b times u n minus 1 then a b so here I can understand that a b here is a b here and b is a b here and this one will continue will be just after so I will obtain uh, a square b so here u n minus 2 u n minus 3 and so on and at the end 
I will obtain a power n minus 1 b and here u of 1 u of 0 and so on okay so this is the controllability matrix gamma controllability matrix and here it's a link between x0 and the initial condition this one I will call it V uh, for the following question question number two uh, if the controllability matrix B, A, B uh, and so on is a full rank then I have to show that for all initial vector we can reach uh, any target uh, for this we need to find the right control so recall that uh, if uh, a so x x if of dimension n and b of dimension m so it means that a is of dimension n n and b is of dimension n m as a consequence uh, u is of dimension is of uh, the big vector v is of dimension m times n and this controllability matrix is of dimension n and here uh, m n ok so the number of colons is larger than the number of rows so this matrix is not square it has a, a shape uh, with it, which is like this so this is a controllability matrix, gamma controllability, where here I have n rows and n times m colons. Of course, is if m equal to 1, I have a square matrix, but it is not the general case. So, so what I want is to go to xn uh, starting from x0 and for this I have to find the right control and the right control corresponds to V and there is several of them so I have to solve a system of uh, equation so question number two I have to solve an equation given by gamma controllability times V the unknown is equal to x of n minus a power n times x0 due to this ok so I can understand that I have uh, m times n unknowns uh, so uh, for only n equation so if gamma uh, gamma controllability is of full rank so it means that the columns of this matrix form a generating family of Rn uh, so in this case uh, I will have many solutions so, and I assume here that this matrix is of full rank and uh, if I assume this I show that I can control my system and to go from x0 to xn for this I solve V equal uh, and I take uh, the inverse this one controllability multiplied by xn minus an x0 but due to the fact that so here it's a DAG symbol uh, in LaTeX is dagger like this dagger uh, since this matrix is rectangular it is not invertible so I can understand that I have many solutions but one of them is the uh, inverse of a more Penrose so I write it more Penrose uh, Penrose inverse so right inverse which provides me an expression for the solution and this expression for the solution is given by uh, this equal to 
the transpose of the controllability matrix multiply by the inverse of this matrix, the product of gamma multiplied by gamma transpose. Uh, so let me check this. To check this, uh, uh, and also the same exploitation, will explain why I call it also the right inverse. Because I will compute uh, the product gamma con gamma and the inverse with the DAG here, the generalized inverse. If I do this product, taking this expression, then I will obtain uh, gamma controllability due to this, multiplied by, I take the expression here, so here it's a transpose, gamma controllability transpose multiplied by gamma controllability, gamma transpose controllability minus 1. So I can understand that since this matrix, so let's say this matrix, it's a matrix like this, multiplied by a matrix like this. As a consequence, it will be a matrix like this, and here I have N, N, and here a diagonal, N, M, M, N here. So the product will be N, N. And since this matrix is a full rank, the product of the two of them will be of full rank. So this one is invertible. And if it is square also, this is why this is identity in dimension N. Okay, so if this is a identity, I can understand that this expression will be satisfied if I multiply by both sides by, uh, by this matrix, uh, gamma dag. Okay, as a consequence, I have a solution for this equation and I can reach for all x0, I can reach in n step x of n if I take this solution. And for this, I need this matrix to be invertible, uh, to be to be full rank. This comes uh, to the uh, theorem I wanted to prove. If this matrix is full rank, then my system is controllable.